Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. Today we want to talk about the bowling stroker delivery style. Most of you bowlers are what we call strokers in, in the bowling vernacular, the bowling terminology. Uh, you know, there are crankers and tweeners and power tweeners and power strokers and spinners, backup ball, straight ball players, all kinds of uh, names for ways of delivering the bowling ball. Uh, and this particular article that we have posted in Bullversity in my video today is about the stroker. Uh, most of you are by far and away are stroker bowlers. There's less uh, power players and power tweener uh, bowlers than there are strokers. Strokers means that you have a very soft release, very little hand rotation, modest rev rate, modest overall hook on your bowling ball. And it's by far and away the most common uh, delivery style. The stroker fits in between the power stroker and the straight player. It's used by bowlers to create, you know, modest, again, modest revolutions uh, with a modest axis tilt. So you see just a slight hook. Very easy to control, and that's the purpose of strokers. And with these new powerful bowling balls today, they all hit the pins. They do their job quite well. You don't have to worry about forcing the ball uh, to make it hit enough to get consistently get strikes if you deliver the ball in the pocket. Strokers are pretty versatile on a lot of different angles on the lane, uh, but most of the time they specialize from playing near the edge of the lane in toward maybe the third arrow perhaps uh, because they don't throw a big sweeping hook and the ball typically doesn't hook as early or too soon on them as it will for maybe players who rev the ball up more. So uh, typically strokers don't play such extreme angles on the lane, play more conventional angles of delivery for strikes and for spares. Um, we use a fairly straight wrist position or perhaps even a little bit uh, tilted back uh, with or without a wrist support device and perhaps a slightly tilted back wrist position we will see at the moment of delivery if we could actually film someone and stop action their hand coming out of the ball you'll see uh, and most of the time it's broken back just a little bit uh, tilted back just a little bit which means the thumb and the fingers exit the ball pretty close to the same time because of the and you just see a very mild rotating action that combination pretty much defines a stroker's delivery uh, motion and of course uh, we talked about a modest uh, rotational axis tilt and modest rev rate uh, this way uh, the ball the, the, there's really basically a free swing and not much of a powerful releasing action with the stroker we usually see the back swings about shoulder high producing medium to maybe a little faster than medium ball speed the stroker can generate about 19 miles an hour um, velocity at the time they launch the ball uh, and then about maybe 16 miles an hour when it hits the pins and overall maybe 17 mile an hour average velocity something like that uh, as the ball travels down the lane it's not real fast it's not real slow um, maybe on the slower side you see strokers uh, because they don't rev the ball up a lot the ball will have a tendency to hook quite as soon as power players or, or, or power tweener players. This delivery produces a small uh, uh, hook motion as we've said. The angle of entry is usually four to five degrees, a little less than six degrees, which is the optimum range for hooking sharply at the pocket. But it's, it's, it's enough to be effective and to carry the corner pin successfully if you throw a series of deliveries in the pocket. The stroker release, again, is common amongst top amateur players and a lot of the professional bowlers because of the controllable yet effective ball motion uh, to get the ball to the break point and then a controllable, uh, dependable motion from the break point to the pocket, give you a high percentage of pocket hits and spare conversions. So that about sums it up. That's what a bowling stroker delivery accomplishes. Um, we hope this helps. Thanks.